Hello, I'm in and today I'm going to look at how to store and read data from CSV files. So these are tabular representations of data. So as you can see, we have first name and last name. So we have that uh, tabular representation of data. So uh, that's what we are going to look at. So this uh, is normally used, uh, especially in databases, when you want to extract a data from a database, or uh, if you want to get data from spreadsheets, importing and exporting, uh, you can use uh, this kind of format. So uh, let's dive into it and see how uh, we can quickly uh, store and read data uh, from this uh, kind of file formats that we are calling uh, CSV files, okay? So we're going to start by importing our module for CSV, which is inbuilt, just to give us the operations that we require uh, to carry out our CSV file, especially reading and writing data into our CSV files. So we declare our file here by uh, saying file name equals to test.csv, okay? So this is declaring our file name. Next, uh, let's, gi let's just give it a comment and say we are now going to write to our file, okay? So here we start with by saying with open, so we are going to open our file to be ready for writing, okay? With open our file name, okay? So uh, we're going to add the mode for writing. And then here, since we are going to work on a CSV object, we're going to give it a new line, which is equal to that. Then we say as uh, f, okay? So here, next thing that we're going to do here is now uh, initialize our object our uh, our CSV object uh, writer okay so after initializing our CSV object writer what we are going to do here is now start uh, initializing that so we say uh, writer is equals to CSV dot writer then we give it what uh, that uh, object of the file okay and then here what we are going to add is uh, our delimiter so how are you going to separate those fields with space okay then uh, next what we are going to do now is now to write uh, to the first row okay so we're going to say write uh, dot write row okay so we're going to say uh, we're going to give it a sequence of uh, objects, okay? So a sequence uh, can be a string, okay? Uh, can be uh, a list, or it can be uh, a tuple, or it can be a set, okay? So that's a sequence. So here, uh, we're going to say uh, test or first uh, column second column okay so uh, if we run this uh, data we should be able to generate our file and write uh, the first row into it okay so there we have it so if you go to our files and check here it is if we click ok first column and second column so that's uh, the quickest way of how to create uh, our CSV file uh, with data into it, okay? So uh, secondly, we're going to add more rows. So here, that one, that one, that one. So here you can say uh, data one, data two, data three, data 4, data 5, and say data 6. So let's run this again. So let's uh, close this and open again just to refresh it. So if we check uh, our file, our CSV file has all this, okay? Data 1, data 2, data 3, data 4, data 5, data 6. So these are to quickly uh, write our data into our CSV file, okay? So next, uh, we're going to look at how to uh, read now 
uh, the data from this CSV file, okay? But before that, uh, how can we add uh, a lot of records at once into this file? So uh, next we're going to initialize here our variable inside data is equals to, let's give it that sequence, okay? So you can have the different sequences there there we have it okay just use that so here you can say test uh, one test two okay then here we copy the same here we copy the same here we copy the same so here we can say right dot right right rows so these are many okay so we put here our data so if we run this file and open our csv you'll see that our csv has a lot of uh, data added to it so that's how to quickly add a lot of data into a csv file at a go or at once okay so next, I'm going to see how to read uh, now data from uh, our file, okay? So I've seen how to write data. Let me just comment this, allow me to comment that. So next, we're going to see how to read data from our file, okay? So here, we're going to use uh, our reader object for CSV, okay? So you can say with open uh, file name which had already initialized up there okay then here I am going to say new line because it's an object and that we are going to read data from so here we initialize our reader and say uh, csv dot reader okay so here we put uh, f which uh, is here we say as F. okay then we can also add our delimiter which is that space okay so uh, now that we have uh, several lines that were created we can use a for loop uh, just to read the data and say for uh, info in read okay print what print info so uh, if we run this here we can see our data in a list format okay so the first uh, row is this the second the third the fourth the fifth until uh, the last one okay so this is how to this is how quickly you can read data from uh, the csv file okay now that we have looked at how to work with a list uh, of data especially for uh, strings uh, as you can see these are list next we're going to look at how to work with key value pairs uh, what we normally refer to as a dict or a dictionary in python so uh, i also have a tutorial that covers uh, dictionaries and also lists in python so you can check it out okay so i'm uh, going to cover how to use our key value pairs uh, just to uh, create and also read data from csv files so let's go ahead and get started so uh, allow me to comment this okay so i can just give a comment and uh, working with um dicts or dictionaries in csv files in python okay so uh what i mean by key value pairs is uh you can have a variable like x equals to name and then you give it a value say john okay so that's what i mean by a dictionary okay so i'm going to look at how to work with those so uh, let's initialize a file and say file name equals to uh, dict let's dot csv so the file name so we look at how now to write data into that file line. So you can say with uh, open mm -hmm, our file name. 
then here we're going to do a right okay then here we are going to say new line equals to uh, that as f okay so what do we do first let's initialize our field names or headers so that will be the first uh, first row where we have uh, the name the email the phone number okay in terms of columns so we can say headers we have a uh, name then so we can have an email you can have a phone or telephone okay that will be our header so next we're going to initialize uh, our csv reader for dictionary so we're going to say uh, person is equals to csv dot dict uh, writer okay and that's our writer so we start with that uh, object for the file that was opened okay then here we can give it a delimiter if you want delimiter goes to that then also uh, we can also have the field field names okay field names equals to our headers okay so they have to pass through uh, this dict uh, writer so that uh, when you come here you can say person dot uh, right header okay so you have your right header so those headers will be written to our file okay then you, you can now start adding your data person dot right uh, row let's just add one okay so here the data that you have to pass is a list of key value pairs so you can say name hmm, okay you can say uh, email test at test dot com telephone um seven one six eight whatever okay so, so uh, remember here our delimiter should be a uh, one character so we have given the space so uh, let's run uh, this file and see what happens so uh, when we check our folder we named it as dict uh, list.csv let's open it there we have our file name email and telephone so it has been added uh, successfully okay so uh, let's look at how to add many rows at a go so we can initialize our variable and say a equals to uh, there we have a list of dictionaries so let me just copy this okay one two you can edit accordingly three four five okay so if you want to write uh, many rows okay you say person dot write rows okay so you say a this is our a here we have passed it here so if we run this okay we are going to get a csv with many 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 records okay so there we have that okay so those were added okay one two three four five one two three four five and six okay so there we have one two three four five and six so uh, that's how we create uh, or write into a csv okay with the list of key value pairs next i'm going to see how to read uh, from this csv okay uh, that is uh, written using a dic addict okay so uh, let's allow me to comment this and just come here and say i'll uh, read from csv okay so there we are so first we what we do we say with open file name okay then we have nothing else so we can say new line goes to that as f okay we're going to do we're going to initialize our reader object and say reader ob 
jet equals to csv dot dict because we use the dict to, to write so we are go going to use it to read so there we have it then we just add a delimiter if you want and to say that give it a space should have one character so whatever character we have is space then we just use a follow up and we say for j in uh, reader object or for data in reader object okay print data okay so if I run this I'm going to get I'm going to get a, a, a dict a object okay so there you have it so what if you want just to return a so if you want to now to get the name you can say dict name okay so we only have our name okay so we are going to get the email just change and write email if it's the phone or telephone okay I'm going to get the telephone so there you have it what if you just want to return a certain field okay so here you can specify the field name field name equals to so use that let me give that a space so you can have a, a sequence of uh, of uh, items that you want so it's let's say name and uh, email only okay now that you have that if you run a print telephone it won't work because you have only specified we want the name and email so let's just try you'll get an error because telephone is not specified as part of the data that you need so here you're going to specify name and you're going to get your data so uh that's all that we have on uh uh, working with CSV files, so this uh, comes in handy when you're working with uh, a, a lot of data, especially database operations. You want to do backups, you want to export your uh, data or do some reporting. So uh, this uh, comes in handy when you want to do all those operations.